Lala and I am back with another YouTube video so in today's video I will be teaching you how to get like this little cookie cutter makeup look because your girl has really been out here like I've really been trying to branch out and do different things with my makeup like if you saw some of my Halloween looks which you should be following me on Instagram I know I didn't post on my YouTube channel for Halloween but you should definitely go check out my Instagram, which I'll have linked down below, along with my Snapchat and my Twitter. But yeah, go check it out because if I'm not on YouTube, then I'm on one of those social media websites showing off my makeup and stuff like that. I love the way this came out and it looks so good. Like, I feel like it looks really good. But I know y'all are tired of me rambling. And before we even get into this video, I'll be featuring Billy Boutique Cosmetics. And this is the palette that I use to create this bomb eyeshadow look. Before we even get into this video, just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification and make sure you press all so you'll be notified every single time that I post a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back for another video, sis. And yeah, I know y'all are tired of me rambling, so let's go ahead and get into the video. So first I'm about to go ahead and start off with brows and for brows I'm about to take my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel and then I'm going to go in with the NYX Professional Makeup Brow Pencil and this is in the shade Espresso. <music> called like the holographic on there but it is holographic and sparkly and it's so pretty but this is what the palette looks like and this palette is so pretty like I'm excited but first I'm about to take the shade discreet which is just like this really dark burgundy shade <laughs> Androgyny. So lastly, I'm about to take the shade Pony. And I'm just about to take this to blend out this red and use it as like a transition color. So I want this to be a little bit darker, so I'm about to go into my Carnival palette and I'm about to go into the black shade that's in here, which is called Lights Out. using my P. Louise base in the zero. to the 
black shade just to blend out the edges of this crease. So now I'm going back in with that shade discreet just to blend out this black. to take these three shades I'm gonna take queer first and then I'm gonna go into the shade visas and then I'm gonna go into the shade Jenny I'm going to take my Milk Hydro Grip Primer and I'm also going to use my e.l.f. Poreless Putty. So for foundation, I'm going into two foundations. So the first one will be the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and this is in the shade 385 and also I'll be taking the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Foundation and this is in the shade 325 in. So now I'm about to do the cookie cutter portion and I'm about to take this little small gingerbread cookie cutter. I got some from Walmart, so I got like a little big one and a small one. But I'm gonna use a small one because clearly the big one is too big. So what I'm going to try and do is actually stamp it on my foundation. And if that doesn't work, then I'm actually gonna take a pencil or some eyeshadow and trace this out. So now I'm about to take a dark brown eyeshadow and just trace this out, just so I don't lose the shape. So what I'm going to do is actually build up cotton balls in the shape of this little gingerbread just to show like the indentation in my face but on the other side I'm actually going to have the cookie cutter on my face so yeah so what I'm just doing is separating this cotton ball up into little pieces just to make sure that it's small enough so you can actually still see the detail of the gingerbread and then I'm going to take some liquid latex right here and I'm about to start applying this to my face. So when I put the fake blood on there, it looks like really gory and textured. So I'm not really going to smooth it out. I'm just going to pat it on so it dries a little lumpy. Because this is supposed to be like underneath the skin. So what I'm going to do is let this dry in between and then I'll be back and like y'all will see like everything come together because kind of like my explaining is everywhere but y'all will see everything come together like it's gonna be cute so yeah i'm about to go ahead and let this dry so i can do another layer and i'll be back when i move on to the next step so now i'm about to take the fancy beauty powder and i'm just gonna set this just so like it gets rid of like any tackiness that's still left over 
but if you are interested in like what liquid latex I used I'll be sure to link it down below I did get it from Amazon and it was pretty cheap but it works really good <laughs> I'm about to go in with some more foundation and I'm actually going to go over this so it just looks like a blank canvas. So now I'm about to go ahead and continue my face as normal. So next I will be going in with concealer and for concealer I'm taking my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer and this is in the shade 18. And this is in the shade Cassava. Or so now I'm about to go ahead and set the rest of my face using my MAC Studio Fix Powder. And this is in the shade C8. palette and I'm about to take the sculpt shade and the contour shade I'm going to mix these two and I'm going to go ahead and contour my face and then I'm going to go into bronzer and I'm going to take the NYX bronzer and this is in the shade deep tan This is volume one, and I'm about to go into the shade Neo. So for highlighter, I'm first going to go in with the Beautiful Goddess Cosmetics Loose Highlighter, and this is in the shade Royalty. I love this highlighter, like it is so bomb. And then on top of that, I'm going to take my Anastasia um, Reezy Highlighter. And this is what she looks like. I just realized that I still have this sticker on here. Dang. <laughs> actually got stuck inside of my drawer because a product spilled and uh, I had to get it out so this part of my drawer 
don't mind it <laughs> but i'm about to go ahead and spray my face with this and i'm going to move back into this part so y'all can see what so before i actually move on to the gingerbread man i'm about to go back into my billy boutique palette and i'm about to take the shade discreet then i'm gonna go into androgyny and i'm about to just go ahead and smoke out my lower lash line so now i'm about to go back into this palette and i'm going to go into the shade discreet and i'm also going to go into the shade androgyny and i'm gonna take a tiny bit of take a man which is this purple shade and i'm about to start shading out this uh, gingerbread man so now I'm about to go into my Mayron face paint palette and I'm going to mix the white and the red let's mix the white in the red and I'm about to just outline this gingerbread just to make it look more raised from the skin and then I'll shade it in with the darker color so now i'm about to dip back into that shade discreet just to buff off these edges to go ahead and apply lashes and for lashes i will be picking a pair out of the holy lash book from billy boutique and i was also sent these in pr so this is what all the lashes look like i don't want them to fall out because they are individual lashes so this is what they all look like and they have the lash commandments which I thought was really, really cute. I think I'm gonna go into the style center just because they flare out more and I have a cut crease. But these are here, so freaking pretty. But yes, I'm about to go into the style center and to apply these, I will be using my dual lash glue as always. And I am gonna cut these to fit my eyes, so yeah. So before, or, I'm so mad I got some fallout right there, but it's okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fix it with powder later but before i go in and do the blood i'm about to go ahead and do my lips and for lips i'm about to take the ColourPop lip liner and this is in bff4 I'm going into two Anastasia products and the lipstick I'll be going in is stripped by Anastasia and then for gloss I'm going into citrine this in the middle of the gingerbread and this is really gonna make it stand out
look and i really really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below any suggestions or videos you'd like me to do and also don't forget to check out billy blinks i'll be sure to link his page down below because this palette is bomb and also the lashes are so freaking pretty like these lashes are so pretty and so fluffy like the camera isn't doing it justice but yeah make sure you go down and check his website out the lashes retail for 65 dollars for the book but he does have a sale going on right now where you can get the lashes for 55 dollars and i feel like that is definitely worth it both prices are worth it because these lashes are so freaking bomb and if you're not subscribed sis why like you just made it through an entire video and i know it was a little long but you made it through an entire video so make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the little bell notification so you'll get notified every single time that i upload a video and without further ado you already know what your girl is about to say if you made it to the end of this video you are the real mvp period and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.